Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Welcome, or welcome back, to Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. Not just Steamworks, also Magic Obscura. This is very important. It is both. You know we like both on this channel. So, last time, we got to explore some of Tarant, and there was some drama, there was mystery, there was crime, there were thrills and spills and chills, and so this time we're going to do some more of that before we leave Tarant. There's a lot of side quests in this big old city that we can do while we're here, so uh, that's what we're doing. Now, of course, once we leave Tarant, we have the next main story quest, uh, like plot line, already unlocked. We need to go to the Dwarven clan holds over in the mountains. Gilbert Bates has identified that ring that we got from the very beginning of the game and told us where we need to head next. So before we do that, we want to squeeze all that we can get out of Tarant. So, first things first. Let's see, we need to go to, where is it, this is, general store, oh, this way, is it this one, Toronto Telegraph, okay, there's poor Magnus, he's always behind us for some reason, what's going to be the fastest way, this way, we need to head up to, the editorial office for the Tarantian, which is, of course, the local newspaper. There's going to be a quest for us there. I've passed it several times and kind of put it off. But now it is time. I am happy to make your acquaintance. Greetings, sir. Might I ask your name? I'm Mr. Wright, editor of the Tarantian, finest newspaper in all the land. Who are you? My name is Dr. B. Unney Esquire, with two periods. And what can I help you with? Well, do you have a job I could do? Well, this is the Tarantian. News is our business. The first thing that pops to mind when you mention work is news. Do you have any newsworthy stories? We pay quite well. Hmm. Well, I am the sole survivor of the IFS Sephir. Does that qualify? No. You? You are the sole survivor from the IFS Zephyr tragedy? What a godsend. I must have your story. I'll pay you 500 coin on the spot if you'll answer my questions. So here's the thing about this. We talked earlier in the playthrough about, like, lying low. I think we're kind of past that because the Malokian Hand knows where we are. They've been following us. They keep showing up and intercepting no matter where we go. So, like, what's the point? We might as well milk it, right? Five hundred. Huh. You've got yourself a story, Mr. Wright. Ask away. First of all, I realize it was a very traumatizing experience. Hey, please, take your time. If you need to stop for a few moments, I fully understand. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you for your understanding. We can begin. So, Dr. B. Ani Esquire, you are the sole survivor from the horrendous IFS Zephyr disaster. Yes. I am sorry to say that no one else survived the impact. Do you have any idea what caused the great airship to plummet? There was a tremendous explosion. It shook the entire vessel. Yes? I didn't see anything in the air, but I heard the sound of gunfire. Gunfire? At that altitude? How was that possible? I also heard engines. I believe there were two different ones. Engines? The Zephyr was one of a kind. What else could have been up there with you? There was wreckage, also, near the blimp. Some strange craft. More flying craft? Incredible. So, 
You don't think it was an accident or sabotage. You're telling me that the IFS Zephyr was shot out of the sky deliberately? By some sort of secret aircraft? Yes. That's as much as I've been able to piece together. Dr. B. Honey Esquire, you've just given me the story of a lifetime. Thank you so much. Here, here's the coin I promised. You've more than earned it. I've got to get this to the presses immediately. Goodbye. Oh, uh, w wait. I know you're in a hurry, but is there anything else I can do? Well, we don't have any openings here at the moment. There's a small job you could do. It only pays 75 coin. Are you interested? Yes, yes I am. All right, here. This is a payment note. I need it delivered to Mrs. Halster. Her house is located at the corner of Devonshire and Vermilion. Return to me after delivery and I'll give you the 75 coin. All right, I'll be back soon. Indeed. Okay. Where is it? Here we go, reputations. So, of course, we were the hero of Shrouded Hills, the orator of Ashbury, the winner of the ancient game. Um, it has literally been a year. <laughs> it's a good thing there's no time limit on this game. We started, uh, like, basically it's like New Year's Day, 1885. It is now probably October or no, it is September uh, 1886. Very funny. Yes. Oh, man, that would be so great. I I would love that kind of a remaster for Arcanum. It's such a good game. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. It is so well worth it that if you've never played it, you really should treat yourself, particularly since it's so cheap to get. And even unmodded, like, of course, I am playing it modded, but even if you play it vanilla right out of the box, it's such a good game. It always has been. And so I feel like it deserves a remake or remaster because then it could be introduced to a whole new generation of gamers that would appreciate it. That's popular right now. Hint, hint. Any devs that are listening. Uh, so we're also the savior of Bessie Toon we freed her ghost and now we are the survivor of the crash of the ifs zephyr since selling our story to the transient seems some people have begun to recognize you for better or worse mm. better or worse yeah honestly let's see, it's to sail terrace i'd love to see a remake of the original diablo as well let's see that's east end so we need to go back this way because this is Vermilion. So we are looking for... That should be Polton Cross. Looking for Devonshire. That's Grimson Way. So Franklin Residence. The Halster Residence. Here we go. Because technically, even though it takes a turn there, this is still Vermilion, as you can see. So there's Devonshire Way. There's the payment note for Mrs. Regina Halster. Ah, hereby authorizes the Bank of Toronto to pay the sum of 200 coin to the order of Mrs. R. Halster for purpose of services rendered. Yeah, hopefully Microsoft will clean them up a bit. We'll see. Yes, are you lost? Mrs. Halster? Yes? Mr. Wright sent me. Mr. Wright... Oh, yes, the payment. Do you have the note? Yes. Here you are. Yes, everything seems to be in order. Here's a little something for your trouble, miss. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye. Oh, out the window we go. That's Dr. Honey for you. Yeah, I, I would love to see, like, an Arcanum 2 almost as much as a remake or more uh but i'm having trouble imagining arcanum in the style of like fallout 3 and 4 or new vegas i guess if obsidian did it you know <laughs> new vegas is the best fallout game all right i've delivered the note to mrs halston well done thank you dr b on the esquire here's the 75 coin i promised all right 
We have done did that quest. It has, it is, has done been did. Okay, we got that. Actually, what is it that you want of me? Uh, why don't you carry that for us? He's still using the sword of defense, right? Because we gave him the filament sword. Is there anything else we need for him to carry at the moment? I might as well give him this, actually, because he's got our ruby and our diamond as well. So we have a ring. I think that's good for now. Hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's very good. I think most people agree that it's the best Fallout game out of the modern ones, especially like it's hard to compare it back to Fallout one and two. That's not really fair. But out of like three New Vegas and four, everyone knows New Vegas is the best, including Bethesda, which is why they never asked Obsidian to help them again. <laughs> okay, so next quest. <clears throat> so uh, this next one is a quest that actually gives us some good alignment. We need to find Simon Plow. He owns a warehouse. And we're going to do something that is, it's very traditional, in most CRPGs especially. Uh, but it's not something that we have done in Arcanum yet. Uh, we need to kill some rats in a warehouse. It's about that time. Alignment is a myth. <laughs> well, unfortunately for us, in the world of Arcanum, uh, much like in the world of Dungeons and Dragons or its various worlds, our, uh, alignment is in fact a tangible force along with magic and technology. Um, but I do feel like it's it's kind of made up. There are some things that give you good or evil alignment that I'm like, eh. Should it though? Okay, let's see. That is locked. There's a mechanical spider in that one, I think. Is this... It's also locked. Where is he? Not that one, we know. East End Avenue. That's... This is the Monument Carver. How'd you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? My name is Joseph. I am the stone cutter here in Tarant. I make headstones and such. Oh, interesting. Goodbye. A computer. It's a computer role-playing game. Yeah. And that is to uh, differentiate it from things like... Um, what's it called? Uh, Mercenaries and Mysteries or something like that. And uh, Dungeons and Dragons and so forth. Shady-looking human. Level 45. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, what do you think you'd be doing then? I thank you to leave my house. Pardon me, I was just looking for some work. Hmm. Looks you over as if he's deciding something. I don't happen to have any work. For some reason you'd be asking about employment in particular. No, I'm just looking to earn a day's wages. Now then, I don't know why you'd come around here asking me about work. Right. That's part of the thief quest, I think. Is it this one? Where is it? Oh, here we go. This is the one I heard the rats. Did you hear them too? Hmm? Yes? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? Oh, excuse me, madam. Excuse my rudeness. My, my name is Simon Plow. I'm a bit distracted as I'm in a bit of a fix. What's your problem, sir? I've recently inherited these warehouses here, and I need to sell them off to pay off my debts. But I have a, a rat problem. A big rat problem. And no one will purchase them from me until the rats are eradicated. How much would you pay for me to do away with these rats? That is the problem, madam. I have no money, and I need the money the sale of these properties would give me desperately. You can take whatever you find as you're cleaning them out as your payment, if you like. There should be at least a few valuable odds and ends of a technological nature. 
That is no problem, sir. I will take care of it for you. Thank you. Please inform me when all the rats are dead. Well, let's start here. Ahem. Random sewer rat over here is not part of the fight yet. Boop. Doot, doot, doo doo. There we go. <laughs> this guy over here is terrified. See, like, he's like, please don't hurt me anymore. Sometimes when you get into combat, like that random NPCs who are not actually part of the fight will say stuff like that, and it's always very funny. Let's see. Ah, key to Simon Plow's warehouse. Good. We could probably use that. Anything in here? No. Nothing we care about. Alright, that is a lot of rats, but it is not too many rats for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you have if you've never fought rats in a sewer, you're missing out. Like it's a, that's a rite of passage. You know, you, you must. You simply must fight rats in a sewer. And at some point as well, you should also treat yourself to uh perhaps uh fighting some slimes. That's a little harder to do at level 1 in a game like D&D. Most of the slimes are like higher level threats, weirdly, but... Magnus going last, as usual. That's alright. Thank you, Virgil. Prodigious vermin, you say. Not so prodigious now. Oh my goodness. Fine. It does have a lot more health than it looks like. Especially for level 4. Well done, Sog. Magnus is not even gonna get, gonna get a hit in. Show those bastards. I, I mean, good hit, madam. Here they come. Here they come. Oh lord, they coming. And there they go. <laughs> Easy as that. Hmm. Crates. Okay, we've got sugar. Anything else? Springs. Nope. I was hoping we might find some little technological odds and ends. Ooh, hello. Do we have... Huh, I guess not. Well, that's fine. We can always use it. Okay. Here's our auto skeleton key. Don't fail at lockpicking, Virgil. Don't do it. Lockpicking failed. Why? Why? Listen, y'all, I have waited my whole life for D&D Lego sets, like official D&D Lego sets. You don't understand. I'm so hype. I will own them all. Okay, well, Virgil, um... Hmm. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get that one open. I don't want to bash it open. Which might damage the contents. Let's try this one. Hey! There we go. Oh, and lol, there's nothing inside. Okay. Well, that's probably fine. Yeah, they have gone up in price a lot in recent years, but... Especially for the specialty sets like that. If you can afford them, though, Lego is the, the toy nobody grows out of, I feel. Alright. <clears throat> Your warehouse is free of rats, sir. Oh. Thank you so very much. 
You've helped me more than you could know. I'm sorry that I have nothing to give you but my thanks. Oh, that's quite all right. Good day. Off he goes, with an attitude of 99 towards us. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. And, of course, as you can see, our alignment has shifted just very slightly to the good. So, uh, let's see. We already retrieved Matthew's wedding ring. What else? We found the stolen painting. We did the crystal ball. Um, oh, I know what we need to do next. Let's see. Need to go back over to Vermilion Street. Actually, to Vermilion Station, specifically. I just realized, I don't know why. I, <laughs> for some reason, I had my fingers resting on, like, QWER. I've been playing too much Last Epoch. Between streams. Oh my goodness gracious. That's wild. See, for me, like, I remember when, uh, you know, I would go to the store as a kid, and they would have these very little Lego sets, like, really small ones for, you know, like, three dollars and change, three or four bucks. And, you know, how a lot of kids would get candy in the checkout line, and, you know, I was lucky that I usually got a Lego set when we went to the store. <laughs> because they were, you know, not much more than a candy bar. Um, and now those same sets cost, like, upwards of seven dollars. Six, seven dollars, depending on when you get them and which one it is. So yeah, you can you can see that it's everything is more expensive. It's paper boy. This is uh Oh wait, it's one of the guards, isn't it, I think. Yes. Yes. Is there a problem? And who might you be, sir? I go by the name Jared, captain of the Vermilion Station Guard. You'll have to excuse my somber mood. I'm a bit on the distracted side lately. And what is it that's troubling you, sir? I am, in fact, a doctor. My girl, Wilhelmina, was on the Zephyr. You know, the blimp that crashed in the Shrouded Hills. With no word of survivors yet. Oh, remember? We've been carrying that for a while. We have Wilhelmina's note to Jared. I, uh, was part of the, the rescue team. I have a note for you. Wilhelmina, where is she? I'm sorry. She's dead. No! My condolences, sir. Oh, hi. I know I've no right to ask this of you, but could you do me a favor? Of course. Could you? Stop by the stone cutters for me. I need a tombstone made for my Wilhelmina. It's very important to me. His shop is on the corner of Mulligan Bone Alley and East End Avenue. Tell him to come round and visit me. I can't leave my post. Of course. Thank you. We know where he is. So yes, actually, I think that Virgil was, yeah, Virgil was carrying that letter, but that's one of the good things. It's a small thing, but one of the good things about Arcanum's inventory system is the game does recognize if you have a quest item, even if it is one of, in one of your followers inventories, uh, it will in fact still take the quest item and use it properly. What's the fastest way? It's probably to go around and down. Because Mulligan Bone Alley is over here. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. This should be him. We're back. Jared sent me. His girl has died. He needs a headstone. Oh, how sad. I'll be sure to stop by later to speak with him about it. Thank you. Okay. 
da. So, we did that. And look, that bumped us up again. More to the good. Yeah, that's awful. It really is. It's like, what game was it recently? Like, a game came out on Steam, and it was like $70 US, and I can't remember which game it was, but like, they were defending the price tag, and I remember thinking that was ludicrous. Like, $70 for a video game, fuck off. <laughs> Hmm. There we go. Um, tears are running down Jared's cheeks. Or cheeks. His cheeks. His cheeks, though his expression is one of stoicism. Yes. What is it? I spoke with the stonecutter. He will be dropping by. Please. Leave me to my pain. Leave me to my pain. There's so much pain. Poor Jared and Wilhelmina. All right, um, let's see. There was one that we kind of stumbled on earlier, but I don't think we're going to do it because it's an evil quest. Um, let's see. Um, where does this one start? Can't remember where this character is. He might be... Is he up at the university? Possibly. It's a zoological society. Town hall. University court. Right, this is the library. Obviously, we have to go to the library. This is a lecture hall, but there's no one here. Oh, it's not inconvenient at all. It's something people ought to think about, really. It's a shame that uh, it affects so many people so strongly. Let's see. Greetings! Allow me to welcome you to the Library of Tarant. Could I interest you in becoming one of our esteemed members? Membership. That is correct. Anyone who wishes to peruse our volumes of knowledge must become a member. The Library of Tarant contains a myriad of books which house many diverse subjects. Well, yeah, of course. Membership. Quote-unquote membership, right? Like, we've got to have a library card. Uh, how much is it for a membership? A lifetime membership costs a mere 1,500 coins. Ahem. <clears throat> so. Um... First of all, fuck that. <laughs> Libraries are supposed to be free. Why are you like this? Ugh. I would like a membership. Here's the fee. There we go. Thank you and welcome. All of the books contained in the Great Library are free for you to peruse and borrow. They are not free. I had to pay $1,500 for it. Ahem. Could you tell me a little bit about your facilities? This is the Great Library of Tarant. It was created 60 years ago when the king chose to make his extensive library available to the public. King. Tarant has a king. Tarant no longer has a king. The tale is a heartbreaking one. Some would say that when technology began to come into power, it was the king's desire to industrialize Tarant slowly. Others thought the king was holding technology back from the people. The kingdom was thriving, the royal court was in turmoil. The League of Gnomish Merchants was gaining power. One day the king was found dead. 
the queen and prince were missing. Having no heirs, the royal court was disbanded, and the Gnomish Merchants Guild took control, leading to the Industrial Council. Let's see, the Orcish Question, Volumes 1 and 2. Uh, yes. Yes, there is, uh, you, you are remembered correctly, I'll leave it at that. Life of Ashton Fernwilter, Hunters Hunted, History of the Isle of Despair. Some of these are going to be relevant, actually. Treatise on the Causes of Disease. Soot from the Gods. Psychological Treatise on Intolerance. Quirin's Poem. Dread Armor and its Origins. So we don't need to read all of these, but some of these are pretty good. Of the frequency and history of dread armor or scientific ruminations on the origins of ancient artifacts by Dr. William Wigan Benz. Dread armor, what is it? It is not infrequently that a country farmer will be tilling his fields and unearth an old shield whose leather straps are rotted away, but whose metal still shines as the day it is forged. Nor is it none other than commonplace that a city businessman might unearth a helmet with similar characteristics in the dirt of his basement's foundation? These ancient pieces of armor, all bearing the same strange insignia, are found throughout Arcanum. Over the years, due to the dark and insidious nature of their emblem, they have been given a name. Dread Armor. What do we know of this dread armor? Historians from around the world have been researching this enigmatic phenomenon for years. Logic would dictate that an intelligent man begin at the most distinctive feature, the emblem. All dread armor bears the symbol of an eagle with a snake's head. Extensive iconographical research has divulged little in the way of enlightenment concerning this talisman. Various cultures and subcultures over the millennia have taken both the eagle and the snake as their representative symbols, but none in recorded history have taken them together. Various rumors among circles less interested in science and more with the childishly fantastic have attributed this symbol to what is most often called the Darian Ka, or Ancient Order of the Dead. Such claims are little more than wild speculations, as such a group has never been proven to exist, much less to forge their own armors. And of course, we know better, don't we? Remember, um, <laughs> that's what P. Schuyler and Sons was part of. And, uh, or, or at least they were descendants of them. And, um, Magnus was pretty sure that they had the symbol outside on their sign. Uh, no, I have not. I've heard lots of um, lots of praise for the Daggerfall remake, the fan remake, but I've not experienced it for myself yet. That is one that I do need to play on the channel eventually. The uh, the Elder Scrolls games in general. Perhaps I'll play that one. Thank you. <laughs> Various experiments upon the metal itself has shown that it is enhanced by magical properties. Experts in the field attribute the flows to dark necromancy as well as minute traces of the force and elemental colleges. The exact age of the armor is unknown, but modern techniques have placed it near the age of legends. Dread armor has been found in almost every part of Arcanum, from the upper reaches of the Stonewall Mountains to the Dark Fens. The Honorable Quentin Payne, renowned explorer from the century last, purportedly found a full set of dread armor on one of his forays into the Vendigroth Wastes. Perhaps in the future, history will be so kind as to shed some light on this most peculiar mystery. Until that time, we can only guess at the reasons behind the mystery of Dread Armor. So there's a lot of lore in these books. It is definitely worth going through and checking all of them out. Let's see. This one. Aw, thank you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun for our five-year special. Um, the other, uh, last weekend, playing Dokapon Kingdom. It was a blast. I still, you know, you can't believe that it's been five years. And some of y'all have been here the whole time, so. But of course, whether it has been the full five years, or whether you just got here, we appreciate it. Either way, thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, you can catch it on YouTube. I'm gonna upload the whole thing. Uh, although with these specials, I really don't do a lot of editing. <laughs> I did it. They're very long. I'm not, I don't have time to go through and post-produce them very much. So it's just kind of slap up a whole like eight to nine hour video and it is what it is. Uh, 
Let's see. Ah, uh, I overheard some of the youths present engaged in a debate over whether orcs were related to humans, and what next, I ask? Theories that dragons evolved from parakeets or that elves come from the same stock as humans? What a grand joke this science thing is. It's quite ridiculous. Hmm. Yes, imagine that all of these humanoid races could be in any way related to each other. Eye of the Beholder drew a lot of people in. That was a big one. And uh, I definitely had a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to going back to uh, the third one. One final run with, uh, <laughs> with Stout Muffin and the gang. <laughs> well, I'm flattered. I'm, of course, I, I appreciate all of our followers and supporters and Patreon patrons and YouTube subscribers and all that, but, uh, you know, if, if I can make one person's day a little brighter, then I did what I set out to do. So, whenever I hear that I have, I, I am more than pleased. <clears throat> Let's see, the orcish question. Traditionalist rather outspoken against orcs. Mm-hmm. topic that will be of greater and greater significance in the near future. So what they are talking about here is, see, orcs are a tremendously vile, violent race. They are born and bred killers. Every one allowing them within the city limits, even as day laborers, is asking for the worst sorts of trouble. Hmm. We're at the dawn of a new age, an enlightened age. Are we? <laughs> Our society is advancing rapidly, unless orcs advance as well. Their predilection for evil will cause great strife. Hmm. Yes, I hear murmurs of concern and almost alarm from you, and I understand why. Orc labor is the backbone of many industries. Without their cheap and plentiful work, our way of life would be threatened. This, then, is the orcish question. What do we do? Orcs, because of their violent nature, will not fit into existing society, and yet we require their labor. We have two options, do we not? Change society to fit the orcs, or change the orcs to fit society. Yeah, so, you know... It's, uh, that's a whole thing. It's all right. In fact, we're gonna, we're gonna get our fingers in that pie soon. I mean, Lands of Lore and Kyrandia definitely are favorites of mine, too. I fell in love with Lands of Lore right away. And I think the next Kyrandia game might be coming up soon. We'll see if that uh, appears on our, on our upcoming poll. Ancient diagram. Oh, here we go. This is the only clue that you get as to, um, like, the uh, relationships between the gods and the order in which you're supposed to visit their different shrines. There we go. I'm glad everybody enjoyed it so much. That one's up there with Betrayal and Antara. I think that's the only other one that uh, people have been as into, you know, that gets anywhere near the same amount of views. Yes. Yes, she is a healer. Will she be able to heal the greatest wound of all? The wounds created by society in itself. Tune in and find out. Also, her head is books now, apparently. Let's see, Professor Aldous Buxington, head of the religion department here at Tourette University. I am Dr. B. Annie Esquire. Might I ask you a few questions? Oh, I've been here at Tarrant University for many years. Mostly I teach classes, but I still do a fair bit of research when I can find the time. What sort of research are you doing right now? Currently, I am studying the older pagan religions of Arcana. As I'm sure you're aware, the Panari have been the favorite religion for the last 1,500 years. But in the years before the Age of Legends, there were many religions and many gods. Each of the races had certain gods that they prayed to, and those gods are what I've been studying. Hmm. Fascinating. Could I ask you a few questions about these pagan religions? Ahem. <clears throat> Tell me about the pagan gods. There were twelve pagan gods in all, eight lesser gods, one for each of the eight races, three greater gods, and the Allfather. Offerings were made to the gods in hopes of getting their blessing, and each god demanded a different offering done quite a bit of research on them. I wrote a book about them. Would you like a copy? Absolutely. That will be important. 
There you go. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, are there still pagan temples? Yes, there are still individuals who worship them as well. Both the Order of Halcyon and the Cult of Gestiana are examples. Most of the ancient pagan temples are in ruin now, but you can still find them scattered throughout Arcanum, and some still have their altars intact. Ooh. Do you believe in the pagan gods, Professor? Do I believe in them? That's an interesting question. I've studied almost everything there is to know about the pagan gods, and visited some of the temples, even made an offering or two. All I will say is this. I've seen enough to know that these ancient beliefs are not to be trifled with. Tread lightly among the old gods, my friend. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, in this diagram. Yes, we call that Mazarin's Mystery. Who was Mazarin? Mazarin was an elven mystic who did his share of research into the old religions. About 3,000 years ago, he wrote the Book of the Twelve Powers, which was a fairly cryptic analysis of the pagan religions. According to Mazarin, there was some sort of deeper connection between all of them. What do you mean, deeper connection? Well, Mazarin believed the gods and their powers were somehow interwoven, and this diagram is supposed to explain how they're related. Certain gods don't get along with other gods, so-and-so begat so-and-so, get blessed by this fellow and that fellow curses you, that sort of thing. I see. Can you explain the diagram to me? There is an excerpt from the Book of Twelve Powers that might help to explain what it means, but no one's ever been able to solve Mazarin's mystery. That excerpt is in the book I wrote. Oh. Oh, thank you. Good day. Let's see. As before you stands a tall bookish man with spectacles perched on top of his head. He is oblivious to your presence as all of his attention is focused on a telegram. Suddenly, he becomes aware of your presence and looks up. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also, too, it feels like in Shadowrun, like, that's a really good comparison because this is an industrial revolution in the, the way that we think of the term classically, like, historically, around the turn of the 20th century. Uh, but in Shadowrun, there's, it's kind of an industrial revolution as well because magic has been gone from the world for a while. Uh, it came back all of a sudden. And so there's, like, a, a magical techno revolution. But also a lot of the cyberpunk stuff is near future things that are just starting to happen as well, and a lot of it was developed in response to the advent of a new magical age. So that's actually a really apt comparison. Ah, oh, man, none of the new Shadowrun games are actually old enough to play on the channel, which is a shame because all of the ones that were made in Unity are, like, really good. Um, but the old, like, Super Nintendo one, maybe I should play that. Oh, excuse me, I get so involved in these telegrams people send me, I get questions from everywhere about demons. Amazing, really. And what is your name, sir? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, you'll have to excuse my excitement. I'm new to this whole uh, phrenology discipline. My colleague, Professor Gershwin, is doing wonderful things in the field. Uh, by way of introduction, I am Professor Akins, scientician and expert of demonology. Scientician and demonologist? You're mixing magic and science? I am a scholar involved in research. Magic and science are the opposite sides of the same coin. To be truly knowledgeable, one must study a tremendous variety of things. Specialization is for insects and orcs. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Skimming past that, uh, what can you tell me about demonology? Well, it concerns the study of demons, obviously. <laughs> I was just thinking about a rather humorous one, actually, in name of Gorgoth. He was a mindless demon roaming the countryside, had an insatiable appetite, would eat anything he came across, and <laughs> this is the funny part. He happened upon a village of halflings and ate them all. <laughs> Seems he had a sweet tooth for halflings. <laughs> Isn't that great? I... guess? What happened to him? Oh, he was banished to some other realm or some such nonsense. That's what they used to do with troublemakers back in those days. Yes, remember being banished like Aranax was by Nasrudin. Ooh, Syndicate's a good one. I did play some Deus Ex. I did that last year as one of our charity incentives for the Video Game History Foundation fundraiser. I played an episode of Deus Ex. It took a lot to get it to run, but it was fun when I did it, and I'm not usually that big on FPSs, but I like the newer Deus Ex games, you know, with like Adam Jensen. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> so it was a treat to go back and play the original. 
We got just a few more years. Because it came out in what? Was it 2010 or 2011? Is when Shadowrun Returns was released? 2013. Okay, so it is, it's a little newer than I thought. So that's about the same time that Wasteland 2 came out, actually. It's 2013, 2014. Which I will be playing Monday. I wish there were more to tell, actually. I'm just scratching the surface of the new ways of scientificdom, such as my exploring of phrenology. Science will solve all the world's ills within 50 years, you know. Ha! <laughs> oh, imagine. Hmm. Hello, may I help you? Well, what sort of books do you sell here? Well, as I'm sure you're well aware, Tarrant University is an institution dedicated to the study of science. The books we sell here are about science and technology as well. I see. What help are these books, friend? The manuals that we sell are very helpful in learning general knowledge about a particular technological discipline. If you find yourself spending most of your time studying electricity, but are interested in learning a little something about chemistry, then the chemistry manual will give you a little added expertise without having to commit to a full degree in chemistry. Oh, holy hell, absolutely, open up the inventory. The price is 750 coins per manual. Do you have enough money? Oh my goodness, oh, oh my good dwarf. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, the humor of that question. Which manuals would you like to buy? Hmm... Actually, let me save it first, just in case, so I can kind of show this off. Doodly do. Metal Gear Rising, not yet, not yet. <laughs> One day. Okay, which manuals would you like to buy? So, chemistry, herbology, smithy therapeutics, gunsmithy, electrical, and mechanical. So, this is a way for us to, as he said, get some, some points, some skill in these other disciplines uh, without having to commit to a full degree. So, like here is the chemistry manual, right? Increases expertise in current degree. So, chemistry, here we go. 65, right, is our rating. Hallucinates the next thing. So, if we do this... Ta-da! Chapter 1, The Itinerant Chemist. Corrosive Household Items. <laughs> the Legend of Stubby McGee, or Why We Always Use Gloves. <laughs> Potions and Poisons, The Importance of Proper Labeling. From Condiment to Catalyst. Salt. Getting Intimate with Acids. What You Didn't Know About Sulfides. Social Gatherings and the Periodic Table. Helpful Hints for Mixing Unstable Compounds. Surviving the Wilderness. Fun with Pheromones. Conclusion. Chemical Ethics. So now we head back over here, and yes. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to do this, actually. Let me. Oop. Nope. Okay. Well, oh, it might be because we already have skill in that degree. So, let's see. Let's pick one that we don't... So I kind of forget how it works. Uh, let's see. Smithy. Explosive. Let's do explosives. That's the next closest thing, and it makes sense that she would have some... Here we go. Some crossover with that. A guide to demolitions. Hmm... Uh, the fuse, lo uh, the fuse, longer is better. Your friend nitroglycerin, the blast radius and overcompensation. Fashionable detonators. Using TNT in the summer months, grenades in your pitching arm. Oft we can't be subtle. Chapter 8, Mr. Magnesium is no cool customer. <laughs> if it goes boom, then you were right. Conclusion, demolitions and demagogues. Hmm. So there we go. See, it adds 15. Okay, we did get the bonus, actually, for because it jumped it up to 65. So, but yeah, so that's what that's for, um, because we have seen some of these, right? See these numbers here? 
that's what we need in the different disciplines in order to make the item required. So like, for example, let's see. This one, this requires five in explosives and two in explosives in order to make bullets. So what that means is if you have even one rank in, in explosives, you can do this as soon as you get this recipe. But she doesn't have any ranks, so this technical manual gives her enough to create that recipe on her own. So likewise here, we've got, this is uh, 80 in machinery and 30 in electricity. So in order to make plastiques, she would need 85 in explosives and 15 in, uh, I think that's chemistry. Yes, chemistry. So there you go, it's plus 15 to that discipline. So that sort of helps push you over the edge to where if there's something, one of these recipes here that you can almost make, but not quite. Like, see, this requires 85 in chemistry and 78 in therapeutics. We don't have that yet because we don't have enough ranks in those, but we could use the technical manual to kind of give us a boost. Now, I'm not sure if you can do the same one twice. Let me see, explosives, explosives. So let's do explosives, explosives. I think it's a single thing. I don't think it stacks with itself. Oh shit, it did actually. Oh wow. I was thinking it didn't stack. Oh my. Oh my, my, my. Hmm. In that case, we need to keep that in mind, because at the moment, I don't think that uh, it's necessary that we need to engage this mechanic directly. But at some point, we may need that for a recipe. Ah, and here's Dr. Gershwin. I'm Benjamin Gershwin, Doctor of Phrenology. How can I be of service? Nice to meet you, Benjamin. Uh, did you say phrenology? Phrenology is the science of the head. You see, every man and woman's head is characterized by different bumps and ridges. Through studying these, I attempt to extrapolate the personality of the individual involved. It's dreadfully interesting and phenomenally accurate. And what are you currently working on? It's interesting that you ask. I'm looking to acquire the skulls of Jin and Zin, the famous Renard Siamese twins, for my studies. They were elvish debutantes who were joined at the hip their whole lives. Scandalous characters as well, stories of their exploits still float around the elite Tarantian social circles. Acquire them? And where could these skulls be found? Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Perhaps you could help me with it. They're interred in a mausoleum in the Tarant Cemetery. Pay you 100 gold pieces for your trouble. Wait, you want me to rob a grave for you? All in the interest of science, miss. All in the interest of science. Just think about the advances that can be made from this one little indiscretion. Um. Good day. We shan't be doing that. Okay, this is Town Hall. I didn't actually mean to speak with you. I don't think that we need anything in here. So this is one of those where like he's mentioned the quest, but we're not gonna do that one. Um. Hmm. I lost track of what I was doing. Oh right 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 no um. Who am I looking for? What is his name? I was thinking he was in, uh, oh, I was thinking he was in the, the university, but hmm, I'm not sure where he's at. So instead, uh, we will do one other major side quest that is here before we say goodbye to Tarant for a while. Let's see. Is that 
Yes, HG Parnell's Emporium of Wonders. There we go. The Telegraph. I was thinking it was here. How may we at the Tarant Telegraph office help you today? Do you have a telegram for Virgil? Ah, oh, yes, we do, as a matter of fact. That'll be two coins. All right, here. Thank you. Please come again. Okay. Go. Tarant Union Telegraph. I have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. I am off to investigate my theories regarding them. The Please. telegram sent by Elder Joaquin. I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> it seems that he thinks it's very important to find out why these men are trying to kill you. Much more important than being here to protect you. I was reading that, Virgil. <laughs> I thought that was your job, Virgil. It is blasted. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get so angry. I just don't have any idea what's going on here. All I know is that Joaquin showed me a better way, a new faith, and now I'm involved in something even I don't believe. What do you think? Hmm. Well, perhaps I am who you say. I'm willing to accept the possibility. Aren't we quite a pair? The would-be elven god and his jester. <laughs> I don't know which one of us is crazier. We'll probably both end up in the asylum. Might be a tad safer in any case. At least there, you know who the bloody madmen are. I think we should just figure out what's happening here. All right. Listen, Tarant is a big city, and a man needs to watch what he does and who he talks to. Believe me, I know a lot about surviving in places like this. This and worse. Just keep one eye always open, and one hand always on your weapon. You can't trust strangers, and sometimes not even your friends. I used to... Sounds like you know a lot about surviving in the streets. I used to... Well, that was another time. I, I know my way around. Just be on your guard and I'll be watching out for you as well. Hmm. Virgil, what is it? Where do you come from? No, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to... There's so much I have to learn. Joaquim says the free man is defined by what he does today. I look no more behind me. Hmm. I see. Let's go, Virgil. Yes. Let's, uh... Let's keep moving forward. You see that his reaction towards us has gone up a little bit as well. So there. That was necessary. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. I was trying to remember... Ah, oh, that one guy. Where is he at? So there's a guy who wants you to steal an idol. I... Th I think... Oh, I think I know why I can't remember. Okay, so never mind. Um, I think it's because you have to join the Thieves Underground? And I don't know that we will do that for sure, so... Alright. Well, into the sewers with us. That's where we found that ring. Diddly do. Nice. Okay, is there anything down this way? Nope. Hmm. Mechanized arachnids. Somebody's basement. Very important basement. The tools. Ah. 
takes care of that. Where are you? There you are. I love how Sog's just like, Bleh. oh, that was a good one. Magnus, bro. Ah, there we go. These losers. Lol, how did this level one rat hit me? Doesn't matter. Cash. Sewer cash. Come around this way. Oh, are you just standing there? Hurry it along. This way, back through the horrible muck. Makes me think of the sewers in Baldur's Gate. Oh my gosh. So many rats. So now we've killed rats in a warehouse, we've killed rats in the sewers. It's all that I want to do with rats at this point. Where does this take us? Is this the one that goes up into... No. Okay. So, right. I think that's about all we need to worry about here in Toronto, at least for now. Anything else here? We're good with our boomerang. To go back up here and check the shop, like the armor shop, one last time before we leave and see if there is anything that might be of use to Virgil. Or Sog. Anything better than what we already have? Creep armor. Magic leather armor, we got some of that. Small dread armor. The Dorian amulet. Fated ring. Made a ring and a Dorian amulet. Who's got what? Is what is it that you want of me? Just thinking. Yeah. Okay, we gave him the Dorian amulet. He doesn't have a ring, though. Virgil does have one of... No, it's got a ring of poison resistance. Ah. Which is chance to hit. Base to hit 105. 125. Okay, we're probably fine. Because we can't wear it ourselves. It'll blow our finger up. Anything here? I don't think there's anything we don't already have. Shield Force. Quality Iron Shield. Small Studded Leather. It's 10, 16, 5, 10. How can I help you? Is that what you've got on? Yes. Okay. A quality iron shield. Quality axe. He can't use the axe of strength, so I think... Yeah, at the moment, I think that's about the best we can do, actually. Alright, well then. Time to get out of here for a bit. Do we have any other outstanding quests? Here's our story quest. Yeah, we've done most things. And it's pointless until we have a little bit more dexterity, which we need to level up to do that, of course. Uh, we're not going to complete Clarissa's uh, quest until then. 
So I guess that's it. Let's head out for a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. We didn't get to finish reading this. Elder Joaquin's telegram. Uh, I've discovered something interesting concerning our friends with strange amulets. I'm off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies on my inability to meet with you in Toronto. I understand all of this must be a bit disconcerting for both of you. If you have questions concerning the Panari religion, stop by any temple and speak with a priest. I believe there is one in Toronto on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. When you have the means, travel to the village of Stillwater. I will leave word with the innkeeper at the Bleeding Rose Inn as to where you can find me. Ah, and of course we have been to Stillwater. What is it that you want of me? There, you hang on to those, please. We'll need that book a little bit later. We haven't found all of the altars yet and don't have access to all of them, so... But eventually we will want to do that quest as well. And we'll have to decide which blessings we want. There's sort of an optimal order to do them in in order to get the biggest bonuses. But we have to have all the stuff. All right. Let's save. There we go. And hey, so now we can go to Stillwater first. It's right next to the Black Mountain Mines. So we should probably head that way. Uh, we also have not gone to the place of Lost Voices yet. We should stop there as well place shown to you by the map in the Iron Clan chest. That's the chest that we opened up with our fate point um, in the uh, museum at Torontian University. Magnus is carrying some strange musical cylinders that were also in the chest. Ah. Got him. New. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you, Sog. Oh yeah, that reminds me. What shield are you using? Oh, he is using a kite shield. Damn. I should have gotten him one of these. We could have bought him another one. I forgot he has a kite shield on. So here we go. Passage. Let's head inside. This is where I would like to have more ranks in spot trap than I do, perhaps. Oh. Interesting. The ancient iron device before you has a number of empty slots in its face. It seems to require additional machinery in order to operate. Hmm. Slots for additional machinery, you say? Well, how can I help you? Okay. See if I remember how to do this. Book carved into its face, right?
Hmm. You seem to fuse the iron drums correctly. So there we go. It's an ancient recording device. Interesting. So. Done with that. Find the Book of Durin. For within its pages lie the key that you seek. Um, so uh, this is sort of a little um, like kind of side quit like I don't think that the game tracks it from here exactly um, so there are several ways to to get here and get this working right um, there is another way that you can get a key that opens that chest in Tarant rather than using a fate point the way that we did um, it takes a lot of stuff uh, it takes some, some very specific materials that we have to get that we don't really have easy access to right now. Um, so that's why I went ahead and did it with a fate point, also to show off the fate points. So, now we know we brought this here, we're looking for Durin's Truth. Uh, so, there is going to be a book somewhere we got to keep an eye out for it. A book of Durin's Truth uh, that's going to show up basically during another quest so I'm not gonna say too much more I'll just say uh, we have Magnus with us for a number of reasons But notice it's like it didn't track it as a quest or anything, so. Okay, let's go from here to Stillwater first. There we go. The Bleeding Rose should be... Here we go. Innkeeper, yes. It is an honor. I believe that Joaquin has left something for me. Ah, yes, he left some things for you. Now, when did I put them? Uh, yes, I recall now. Here you are. Thank you. Here we go. A book. Men trying to kill you seem to be remnants of the Malokian Hand, who long ago were assassins for the Order of the Dead, the Darien Ka. I found this ancient but incomplete text concerning their history. They don't seem to be bad fellows, perhaps just a bit misdirected. Things are too dangerous right now. I shouldn't have even had you come here. I'll find you. So he thinks that the Malokian Hand, like, they're not actually villains. They're just misdirected. Hmm. So, lost histories of the Malokian Hand. Their separation from the Order of the Dead was always a mystery, but translations of the scrolls of Trillian's first assassin of the Hand have brought to light their enigmatic reasons for leaving. A half-torn excerpt from the fourth scroll reads, And the writings of the great necromancer were found by me, and his madness and abominations were made clear, and I threw myself to the ground with great sorrow and gnashing of teeth. How evil were the men to whom we had pledged our hearts and our swords. I vowed to make war, and we set ourselves upon them and the Grey Legions on the plains of Vorodin, and we broke them, but were also broken upon them. My heart burns. Obviously, there were doctrinal dif differences between the Darien Ka and their order of assassins. The great necromancer referred to is obviously Kurgan the Terrible, after whose death was formed the Order of the Dead. Excuse the me. That book is interesting, don't you think? Yes, it, it is. It seems that these Malokian hand assassins were part of some larger group called the Darien Ka. What did he call them? The Order of the Dead. Uh, obviously, these fellows all had some sort of a disagreement. Yes, it, it is an interesting book, Virgil, and I was reading about the disagreement. <laughs> so Joaquin thinks perhaps they're not all that evil. Not all that bad? Ha! Obviously, Joaquin hasn't run into them lately. <laughs> That fellow Trellian did sound like an agreeable sort, though, didn't he? Anyone who chooses to side against something called the Order of the Dead is all right in my book. 
You mean first assassin, Trellian? <laughs> yes, you've got a point there. I'm sure the man was no saint. And again, who really is? We've all got, well, blood on our hands. In the end, we all just play the roles given us. Sometimes they don't fit so well, but I guess we make do. You and I know a lot about that, it seems. Yes. I'd never have thought myself worthy of this affair. And I shouldn't be making judgments about anyone's character. I think I'd best just keep my bloody mouth shut. Virgil. Listen, there's something that happened to me. Well, be because of me. Because I was foolish. Because I was a coward. Burdens like mine, they don't go away. They always come back to, to collect what is due them. Someday the balance will have to be paid. What are you talking about? No, I, I shouldn't have said anything about it. As I've said, the past is in the past. Hmm. Well, what do you think we should do now? I don't know. I was hoping that Joaquim would be here to give us a little guidance. It seems we've been running blind without the reins, doesn't it? All over. I guess we should just stick to the task at hand. Ha <laughs> ha. Not likely to start now. But sounds good to me. Let's get moving. Yes. The day's not getting any younger. Poor Virgil. He has a backstory, which is a great burden on any character. <laughs> now let me finish reading this book. Where were we? Yes, the writings that Trellian refers to are unknown, but it's been surmised they were some sort of personal journal or logbook. One of the scrolls of Trellian also refers to the Master's Place of Dark Secrets set among the stones, which may or may not have referred to Kurgan's lost laboratory, spoken of cursorily in both the writings of Belloc and Isered. Hmm. His lost laboratory, you say? What is it that you want of me? I want for you to carry more of my books. Thank you. We have a lot of books, but then again, we are a doctor. It only makes sense. Building our medical library. Okay. So now we can head to the Black Mountain Clan. Well, Black Mountain Mines. Uh. Ahem. Timberwolves. Nice. Oh, he, he keeps dodging, but he's just standing completely still. Poor Magnus. He's not gotten a hit in this whole time. It's probably fine. Oh, Lord. Polar bears. Sog's just like, bro. Not cool. Here we go. Another one of these. These guys are going to attack us, so... Hey, look at that. We did it all by ourselves. Oh, more. There's more of them. There we go. Okay. It's like, are there more that I don't see? Hmm. There we go. Let's just... Take care of them this way. We'll get the one on this side. Hey, we almost got all of them. Not bad. Dr. Unny has really come into her own since she found a boomerang. Ooh, that's some big rats. That's some big, big lads. R-O-U-S's are back. Do, 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 do. Get 
get them, guys. Well, that's that. Let's see where are. Oh, and there's kites here too. I forgot about that. Gross. Harder to hit. That's all right. I think it's fine. Yep, you come over here. Come to us. Get out of here. Ah. Got to get a new boomerang. Or golems. Money. Decent gold ring. I like that it's specifically listed as a decent gold ring. As opposed to an indecent gold ring. Rude. Crude. Not fit to be in public. Show those bastards. I, I mean, good hit, madam. <laughs> yeah, it just says decent on it. It's a decent gold ring. It's like a brand name. Like a Tiffany, you know? Or a Zales. Hmm. some reason these guys are just kind of hanging out that happens sometimes got oh cure poison and healing salve we'll take it what is it that you want of me oh. which sound effect them screaming <laughs> i hate fighting these things oh man Oh, I wish we had a repair. A granite rat. Yeah. It's a very, very piercing scream. That death animation, though. Lava rock. Take that as a, uh, as a souvenir. Hello, trap. Ooh, rough cut sapphire, geode, four coins. You guys get that one, we'll get this one. There we go, that's a level. Yes. <laughs> Hello, floor trap, my old friend. Seems I've stepped on you again. While these kites were loudly screaming, I was on fire thank and you. thus You're steaming. Oh, thank you so much, Trace. <laughs> thank you for the gift subs. Y'all have got to stop spoiling me. I'll come to expect it. And then I'll be disappointed when it doesn't happen. <laughs> no. Seriously, thank you, though, for all the support. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me humble. I think I humble myself enough with some of these games. Old flintlock pistol. We don't need that. Oh, 35. Now we got two points. So we can put one here. And... Boop. One there. Excellent. So now we need 18 decks. So it's going to take two more levels to max this out. I was thinking it was 17. But I guess it's 18. All right, almost there. Oop. Now listen. 
all of that being hit in the head with a boomerang still didn't die. What a tough rat, honestly. Right? It gets you wondering, like, do they remember where they put all these traps? Like, how do they navigate around it? How do they keep their personal shit together? Word's got to get around after a certain point, right? People are going to stop applying to work there. Yeah, with difficulty. <laughs> it's like, working for old Gil Bates is hardcore. Iron Man mode. Oh, goodness gracious. Get out of my face. I'm done with you. A fancy ring. Oh, well. I mean, come on, right? A fancy ring? There. You know we have to have a fancy drink to, a ring to go with our elegant dress. It's the only thing that complements our outfit. Yeah, a <laughs> dungeon of the Mad Mage. Oh, God. Never go full Mountain of the Mad Mage uh, if you don't have to. Yeah, it's like the decent ring. The decent ring says decent on it, so the fancy ring is also just, it's just labeled fancy. Rock Sprite. Let's do as much to it as we can before it comes over this way. Because then they're going to hit it and damage their weapons. We'll have to repair them when we get back to Tarant. Oh, Magnus finally got a swing in and <laughs> didn't even hit anything. Oh, bless his heart. Poor Magnus. Oh, there's a trap. I do believe. Oh no! This, this, and this, and that. Good. Temple of Elemental Evil is one of those that I think it can be a really good uh, module if you run it correctly. But it's definitely one of those sort of like a uh, Tomb of Annihilation where it's it's a little overhyped, I think. It's not one of the best adventures that have ever been published. But it has a lot of potential where if you've got a good GM and a good player group, you can really make something special out of it. Like, it can be a real experience. People remember it so much for a reason. Man. Dungeon of the Mad Elemental, yeah. Temple of the uh, of the evil elementalist. Do do. We're gonna attack this guy. I'm not worried about the rat. <laughs> Just defenestrated completely. Like, why have you done this? There we go. Thank you, dog. If possible, I always prefer for the dog to uh, take on, like, the elementals and stuff. That's why he will hurt himself, but it won't break anyone's weaponry. So we can heal him, so. Out of my face. Yeah, that's the, um, the, uh, Dungeon of the Mad Elementalist of, of Dread. <laughs> curse of the, Curse of the Temple Dungeon of the Mad Elemental Mage. <laughs> the 
That's pretty funny. Yeah, like the people of Barovia are just like, Temple of Elemental Evil, you say? Yes, I think I have a friend that used to attend services there. Yes, exactly. Just so. You get it. We need a better weapon. Maybe that's what we'll do after this. Dwarven steel. Ooh. Could you please carry that? Thank you. I think we need that for something. I did that once a long time ago. It was a sort of like a Planescape game, I think. And the sort of central tavern setting or whatever, there was a beholder that was in charge of it. I was inspired by Xanathar, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, did I hit you, dog? I am so sorry. My bad. At least his attitude can't go below. 70, so. Oop, we're almost there. Oh, seething mass. Blech. We hate a seething mass. Oh, there's a dead body. Dead bodies everywhere. Dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> Hundred and thirty two percent chance to hit. Well, you better not miss then. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, it's casting an armor spell on itself, I think. Yeah, you come over here. The eye of the beer holder. <laughs> that is now the only name I will accept. Ooh, a ruby ring. See, this is ridiculous. Like, we're just able, because we're so overleveled for this, we're able to tank a lot of stuff that realistically we should be damaging us and our equipment. And it's just not. Which is fine with me. That is the way to play. Oh, there comes a seething mass. Broski. I'm just gonna... There we go. Just let our doggo take care of that. And then Virgil can take care of the doggo. Hmm. Start with you in the middle. Go, Magnus. He doesn't even make it into the fight. Oh, poor Magnus. Man, we need to get him a charged ring or something. Oh! Oh no! Which armor? Ah! Our dress! No! Oh, thank you. It's okay. We will get it repaired. What is our level? We are level 35. Just now. We're about to be 36. Uh, 50 is the max level in Vanilla Arcanum. Yes. That's not our max level, That's because we are playing modded. I mean, good hit, madam. Hey, there you go. Because even if it's not like a neutral lich or an arch lich or something, that's, you know, one of those, like, um... It's an opportunity to show that even an evil character can have non-evil motivations necessarily or they don't have to be a villain so what's our max uh i don't know that there is one scroll of sense invisible and trap scroll of exiting and a note a note what is this note 
Search for the target in the abandoned mines of the Black Mountain Clan. Any failures like those in Shrouded Hills will be met with the most severe punishment. Signed, GL. What is it that you want of me? Who is GL, you may be asking yourself. An excellent question, to be sure. It's not, it's not 51, as funny as that might be. I, I think it might be, um, it might be 99 or 100, perhaps. Or there might not be a max, I don't remember, because I think it, all it does is like a function of the mod is, uh, it, it just removes the cap. I don't know that it gives you a new one. I think it just stops you from no longer getting new levels once you hit 50. Okay. No, I, I want to move here. Okay, well. That's... no. Dang it. Okay, well. Well, good enough. Yes. Yes, imagine being level 99. Oh, there we go. It's one of the things I was looking for. We got some machined gauntlets. AC5, DR plus 7, damage plus 15, pickpocket minus 4, but who cares? So we're wearing the Vendigrothian padded leather gloves. AC4 and damage plus 2. This is damage plus 15. So let's, that should be... I don't know if that will actually affect the throwing weapon damage. Not really sure. It's okay, we're gonna give that to... Sog, maybe? What gloves have you got on? More gauntlets. Okay, so that's 6, 8, 10. This is 5, 7, 15. So it's slightly less defensive, but the damage is way up. Dang it. I know that Magnus... I, I don't... Oh, he will take them off. Okay. So that's 5, 7, 15. And then his mysterious dwarven gauntlets are 3, 5, and 7. Okay. Good. Well, in that case, he could use them. Oop. Eye gear. Unidentified hammer. How can I help you? Let's see. There it is. AC 6, damage reduction 9. Mm. Oh, you need the defense more than anything else. No, actually, we're not going to take that because I mean, you can't sell them to anybody. So. We do need more inventory space. Can I help you? There. That should help. Let's do this. We have so many little bits and bobs. There. Look at that. So much more now. Magic hammer. Okay, well. Oh, it's one of my favorites. The pyrotechnic bow. Learn a new schematic. And I think it, does it fall under machinery? Uh, it might be under explosives. Yes, it's under explosives. Okay, well. Hmm. If need be, we can get 45 in, in this, but we still have to have the fire obstruction, which we can't make yet. Plain old wooden arrows just not getting the job done? Well, we've just the solution. The amazing pyrotechnic bow, made by combining the fire obstruction and the compound bow, shoots flaming arrows, which not only cause more bodily harm, but are also perfect for setting fire to that orcish village you've been despising for so long. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is the real treasure here. 
I think that's the only place you can get the pyrotechnic bow, maybe. Yes, whoever's writing these flyers, they're just like so into it. Does the game track weight? Yes, it does. Uh, in fact, you'll see right here, we actually have light encumbrance and we are almost at medium encumbrance. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. I just realized that we are... Hmm. Hmm, we're gonna have to get that fixed. Yeah, no, that can happen. It's already happened to us once or twice. Okay, well, we'll just have to... We'll just have to deal with that. Rock Sprite. Yes, you come over here so our dog can bite you more times. Thank you. Exactly what I wanted. Here now. All right. Vir Virgil, it's really okay. Oh, right. Yeah, and then this thing comes out from behind the uh, the furnace. You know what, really? How much health do you got? We've not really gotten to... Let's do... Hey. We've not gotten to do that very much. Didn't do a lot of damage, actually. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's probably fine. Anyway. A note... Another note. So many notes. I think they're all the same note. Yep, search. Search, yeah, okay, they're all the same note. Here. There. I don't need that. We have a copy. Yes, don't remind me. Ugh. This is fine. This is so fine. Let's see, Patriarch Wolf. This is the first of those we've seen. Patriarch Wolf, it actually summoned a mountain lion to help it. But that's okay, because we just leveled up. Vir Virgil. Virgil, it's fine. Virgil, it's really fine. Let's see. Right, dexterity. I promise it's okay, Virgil. You're not gonna, you're not gonna stop, are you? There, see, it's fine. Da, da, de, da, do. Kites. Where's this one go? Right. Probably need to go this way first. 18 years old, oh wow. Fuck wild. A brute fang. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus I know is going on 20, because it was on GameCube, I think, right? Okay, this just goes the other way. Dark Elf Thief, Granite Rat. That's what we heard a second ago. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. NPCs are fighting each other. It's 
heal a little bit. I just want to throw my boomerang. Thank you. Here we go. That makes me want to play Lego nice, Island. This would go faster if y'all would help. I don't know what your problem is. That's the way to show those Beating them to death in melee. I, I mean, good hit, madam. That's the way to show those bastards. I, I mean, good hit, madam. Come on, lads. There we go. Finally aggroing on something. Oh. Right. Actually. There is in fact a giant rat. But not anymore. Hello. Excuse you? No, Virgil, just step. Virgil, please. There, see, that's all you needed to do. Really. There we go. Where are we? Let's go through here. Oh. Okay, well. Stop go Who is attacking us? Stop it. Whomst is it? <laughs> Something really wants to fight us. Okay. It's gotta be these guys over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, it's this one. Get him. Get him, bro. Oh my gosh. It's a massacre. Our doggo is... Just the ultimate DPS check. I provide, <laughs> as the doctor, I prescribe a healthy dose of dog. Also, sword. Here, nothing. Cash. Oh my goodness gracious. Word should have gotten around by now, surely. Y'all really do not want to mess with us. Sapphire and some cash. You know what? Maybe here is where this would be really good. Wow. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yes, the best party, obviously. <laughs> oh, dog's reaction has become 50 neutral. Why? Oh, 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 right, because our dress is broken. I was like, wait a second. There's, now we can see what they really think of us. Because the dress adds plus 20. <laughs> it doesn't recognize us. It's used to the uh, used to the dress. So when we don't have the dress, he's like, I don't get it. Where's mom? I 
can't believe I threw that acid and just nothing happened. Hmm. Yeah, explosive grenade, stun grenade. Let me do flash grenade, dynamite. There we go. I was very worried for just a hot second. Oh, you cannot sleep here. Find an inn and pay for a bed. Find an inn and pay for a bed. You loser, says the game. Scroll of Sense and Visibility. It's the same note. Oh, actually, I should... Does he have anything? Okay, yeah, you can see they are in Malokian hand. How can I help you? Hold the scroll. And this other stuff. Yes, she's like, no. Only, only the best. Only the finest of ends. Ah, jackpot. A star ruby. 153 floor cash. There's a lot of traps here. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's so fine, in fact. It's a lot of dead guys. Virgil, hun, we've been through this. Virgil, I'm begging you. It's okay. Here, I got this. Virgil, it's... Virgil, stop. There. Da, 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 do. Oh, his armor got damaged. Traps all over the damn place. We spotted one, but. Oh god, no. Guys, you gotta be more careful. So we're trying. Doing our best. There we go. How can I help you? Hold these scrolls. And all these gems. Hmm. Well, that's just going to have to be what it is, isn't it? That's alright, we're going back to Tarant after this anyway. Okay, let's just let that sort itself out, I think. Nope, 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 nope. Dang it. There's a tree in the way. Got him. Okay. There's a barrel back here. There's some herbs and things as well. Like there's some Kadura stem. Tobacco leaves, mushrooms, witchbane. Kadura stem. What do you mean there's no room for that item? Oh. Right, because it's vertical. Coca leaves. There's the Ginkgo root. Just picking up all of these herbs. And honestly, that's fine. We can use them later. Here, there we go. Okay, let's heal ourselves. There we go. 
go. That's everything that was on the floor. This way. Oh. Oh. Spotted one, but not the other. Dang, there's so many traps. Y'all. So many traps. Why are there so many traps? It's like someone lived here and didn't want us getting into their stuff. Honestly rude. Rude of you to have stuff and then trap it so that I have trouble stealing it. So rude. Unconscionable. Oh! Don't worry about that. Just don't worry about it. They all have these scrolls and not one of them apparently used it. How can I help you? There we go. Another trap. My goodness, calm down. There we go. <laughs> no, don't don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Pay no attention. Oh, thank you for tanking that. All this cash to tempt me. Joke's on you, I have infinite healing. Then go over here. Now listen. Rude as hell, honestly. There we go. Oh, awesome. Here we go. A power axe. That's one of the things I was looking for. Where am I? There we go. Does that give me enough room? Not quite. Let's do this then. So that'll also heal other people by restoring his uh, fatigue. Think that's enough? Now we don't need this, but we know somebody who can use it. Three, seven, and one. How can I help you? Right, okay. There's no room for that item, you say. Foolishness. There. Ta da! Because the power axe is a 5 to 18 damage, a 3 to 11 fatigue, and 8 speed. Versus this one, 3 to 14, 2 to 10. So it's just a direct upgrade. And it's a tech item, so Magnus can use it. Yes, it's time to ask the hard questions. Magnus. Always axing the hard questions. Quality hammer. Mental inhibitor. We don't need that. You can also see, I hadn't pointed this out yet, but like, this is sort of... You can see the type of trap that you're dealing with. Let's see here. Hmm. See, like, this is a poison trap. Okay, well, you tried, and that's what matters. How 
can I help you? Carry another scroll, Magnus. There, that'll also help. He's already at moderate encumberment anyway. Here, ah, there we go. One random dude. Oh, Magnus, don't die. That's dumb as hell. So many traps. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, this one doesn't have a scroll. Okay, let's do a quick check here of what everybody. What do you want of me? Make sure who needs what repaired. Armor, shield, his sword, of course, a little bit. Sog. His sword's actually fine, huh? Wild. Ah, uh, his armor's damaged, though, pretty heavily. Okay, those are good. That's good, because we just got those. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's mostly he's fine. Cause he's not hardly been involved in combat. Cash. Cash. It's so fine, don't worry about it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm very concerned about the traps? Oh, now his armor is damaged. Great. Oh, hello? He's just standing in a corner. I had some bulk on him. Had some health. Okay. We just need to leave this area. Listen, I already tripped all these traps. Come on. Come on now. We already walked over all these traps. Come on. Be fair. This way. All right, so we went over there, went over there, so it's through here. It's the last place. More of these dead guys. So many more. Here. There's not as many traps in this area, I don't think. I say as I step on one. It's so can fine. I help you? Don't even worry about it. There we go. Hey! There. You're gonna come towards us? Yes. Good. Step on a trap. Step on a trap, idiot. get trapped on. Okay, well that works too. Oh, 
and Virgil's out of fatigue. I love how he just like stalks over there and just bonk. He looks like he's mad about it. He's just stop, 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 stop. So many of these guys. We are almost through here, though. And we can leave and we never have to come back again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, come on. Do it. Oh, sh Couldn't go far enough. Come on now. It's all right. Okay, we got this. Let's do it. Dr. Honey, please. I'm... She's trying to go sit it down. I was trying to throw it at a location instead of a target, I guess. You know what? That's too good to pass up. There we go. Okay, let's let's do it. We've not gotten to do this. This is this is her redemption arc. Y yes. Oh, she literally just used it up without. Okay, well. That was anticlimactic after the dynamite. There. It makes me feel a little better. <laughs> oh, and you jumped right in the middle, so now I can't do it. Okay. Why is this one just, like, lying down? Literally like he was asleep. We'll have to do so much better than that. Magnus, there was one bright... Okay, well... If you want something done correctly... Ask somebody else. <laughs> Finish it. Oh, there's one left. So many boomerangs flying. Oh, there's one over there too. Yeah, there's one right there. Weird. There, got him. Oh! That aggroed somebody else. It's like, why can't I go out of combat mode? This is why. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Traps everywhere. Oh, Magnus. Oh, Magnus. That's so Magnus. I... Oh. Okay. You know what? Just in case. It's been a while. Let me do that. In case I accidentally hit the wrong button like I did last stream. He's only level 11 and I keep forgetting that. Because the rest of us are level 36. Sog's 34. <laughs> Magnus is level 11. It's probably fine. Magnus, you have to stop. I can only baby you so much. Oh, 
Thank you, Sog. All that stuff. We're gonna make a mint when we get out of here, though. With all of these jewels and things. Which is great, because we have spent quite a bit of our money. We still have almost 9,000, but... More is better. Magic items especially are expensive. All of these little purchases do add up. chests in this area, I believe. Okay. Down those side rooms, anyway. Where rats? There rats! Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Oop. Yeah. Dang it. Knew that was about to happen. accidentally clicked one too many times, so she, like, ran forward. I was like, no, don't do that. Got him. Is there anything even in this room? I don't believe so. Not here. So back over here we go. Got him. You leave him alone. There we go. See, he didn't need help. We're now level 37. Excellent. Oh, here. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. Point. Boop. There we go. That's that. We are done with throwing. No more points in throwing. We got there, folks. an electrical harness. It would be useful if we were doing electricity. There's several good things that are built with that, but... This almost looks like a throne room, doesn't it? Okay, Virgil? Nope, okay. Hmm. Now it's jammed. Oh, there's a key for that around here somewhere, I think. Oh. Oops. Did a big steppy. To a nasty trap. Oop, I have spotted a trap. Oh, it's like as I'm standing on it. 
Damn it, Magnus. We tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, we just kept dying. I could, like, do this properly. And it would be way less painful, but... Why did you do that? Why? Oh my god. Virgil, please. I'm trying to concentrate. See, Virgil, this is what happens. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. Almost. So close. Close enough to taste it. At least once you've, like, spotted a trap, your companions generally don't step on it. If you can see it, they will walk around it. Honestly, Virgil, I'm impressed that your spells are working at all on me when they do. I've gotten complacent because we have been so overleveled for so much of, uh, of the game for so long. I forgot, like, I wanted to have ranks in Spot Trap, this is why. <laughs> so there are a handful of places like this. Do not... Oh my god, Virgil. Or see, like, the traps are way more deadly than any of the actual enemies. There's nothing in here that could kill us. Creature-wise. But... All of these traps... Like one after the other piled up together, absolutely do present a danger. A friend, oh. I've been wounded terribly. Quickly, I need healing. Lol, my friend. My friend, I've been wounded terribly. Quickly, I need healing. Yes, you do. Virgil, please. Oh my god. Stop it. There. <laughs> he won't stop prioritizing Dr. Honey. It's like a thank you, but... My friend! I've been wounded terribly! Quickly! I need healing! You're fine. It's fine. One gold. I just wanted to show this one off. There's nothing in here. There's just a bunch of horrible traps. And then one gold piece. To make you think there's something valuable. Goodness gracious. Well, here we go. Why have you come? I will not go. I spit on the judgment of the Wheel Clan. Elven pawns. It comes to this, it does. 
I am ashamed for myself and my kind, I say. I don't understand. I'm only here to find the Black Mountain Clan. Betrayal it was. Myself, the clan of the wheel, betrayers all. Sent to despair without hope for return. It was Stinner and the boy. Stinner. And Bates. We all paid the burden of shame. Who is Stinner? What boy are you talking about? Stinner and the boy. And Steam brought the judgment down from on high. Brought elves to the mountains black, a most shameful day I've ever seen. What happened to the Black Mountain clan? Gone. Gone to their despair. An island of death and hate, an unholy place of judgment. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. Gaze upon the pillar of truth for your answers. Too long has my mind been consumed with my traps, and those waiting for me to slip and show weakness. They're here, you know, waiting, hiding in the shadows. So, you've been down here 70 years, laying traps and waiting? The traps keep me safe. Our homes must be protected to the end of days. Much evil afoot. I can see I won't be getting much from you. Good day. So here we go. This pillar is obviously of dwarven origins. Its front is covered with roughly hewn writing that does not appear to be part of the pillar's original design. I am not proud as I set this down, but it must be known. I, Gudmund Orbender, have rejected the judgment of the Wheel Clan. The banishment of the Black Mountain Clan to the Isle of Despair for crimes against the dwarven world, namely the sharing of technology with the humans, is a more graven offense than that which it purports to avenge. I commit to stone my judgment on Logair and his clan, blinded in their madness to the extent they would allow the elves to force their hand. The day the elves came, led by the warrior betrayers of the wheel, was the day my destiny was writ upon the stone. Goodman Orbender would never be banished by the hand of an elf, no matter what untrue judgment of guilt were handed down. The voice of reason, usually so clearly heard by dwarven kind, was shunned when it cried out to drive the human from our ancestral home. The Bates child sold the dwarven birthright to the world. As was he the charge of Stenar, so must be the guilt. This day shall be remembered for all the days of the Orbender, when the proudest of clans may be forced as sheep into a circle of banishment created by lowly elves while warriors stand and do not. The Orbender must reject all that his dwarven bones will him to do, as there must be one to stay and make record of this, the most evil of days. I scream for my brothers to fight the unfair judgment of the clan of all clans. I scream at them still. Yes, yeah, so that's Gudmund Orbender. I'll just take this. All right. Here we go. So, ahem. Who are you? Goodman Orbenter of the Mountain Black, I am. Shamed, betrayer. But not. I did what must be done. I alone stood for the right. Yours is not to judge. Mine is the harshest judgment of all. Why would dwarves let elves interfere in their affairs? Elves cowered in fear at the might of dwarven machines for aeons past, waiting for their chance to set the dwarves upon themselves with the threat of war. Your ramblings are confusing at best. What are you trying to say? I am trying to say what I'm saying. I can waste no more energy on these things. How can I help you? Oh, wait. Not you. Here we go. What can you tell me of the Wheel Clan? The Clan of the Wheel. The clan of all clans. Theirs is the final judgment of all things dwarven, as they were the first. So yes, they're like the head clan of all the dwarves. Who is Logair? Logair, leader of the Wheel Clan. Cast the clan of the Black Mountains out. The elves must have bedeviled him with their magics. They attempt to control my mind even now. I can feel them in there. Hmm. How can I help you? What do you need to know? What do you know about this place? The Black Mountain Clan? Oh, they're quite a famous clan. I'd uh, tell you more, but uh, 
Dwarves don't talk about other clans when they're not around. Uh, you know, dwarven tradition. Sorry, I can't say more. Lol. Okay. So. Here we go. All right. Yes. Okay. So the pillar of truth within the Black Mountain Clan's minds tells the story of their banishment to the Isle of Despair for allowing technology to spread to the humans, principally because of Gilbert Bates and his steam engine. Strangely, it seems elves were there to effect the banishment with the cooperation of the Wheel Clan. Hmm. Okay. So look for the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair. So we have to go back and report to Bates and let him know what we have discovered. And then, then it will be time to advance the plot again. First, though, uh, uh, gotta head back to Tarant anyway, so, like, I'm gonna get our stuff repaired. I'm just gonna get all this stuff fixed. Oh, goodness. Let's see. So you can see where the story is going here. Uh, Gilbert Bates let the steam engine out of the bag. And apparently some elves got mad about it. And they talked the Wheel Clan into banishing the Black Mountain Clan to the Isle of Despair for allowing that to happen or something. So, um, let's How see. How can I help you? Which one? Here we go. Scroll of Exiting. Is there anything else that he doesn't need? No. Okay, I'm going to give you all these other rings. Oh, oh he's completely full up. Okay. Alright, let's see if this works. I really don't want to have to go back through there. Hey! Hey, there we go. It actually worked, thank goodness. That's why they give you that in there. I was worried that it wouldn't because our technological aptitude is so high, but... Okay, well, that was a lot. That was a lot. So I think uh, that... Where are we? Oh, there we go. I need to do that first. We deserve a little treat. So we're going to do something that we have been waiting to do for a very long time. It's time to complete one of our major quests that we've had in our back pocket. It's time to be done with this. Right, right, right. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. like guys please did the others not tell you oh no wait they were dead I forgot oh again oh Sick of these guys. Just take those. Head back to Black Root and finally deliver Azram's star to Clarissa. It's time. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh. 
stop. Virgil, stop. Virgil. <laughs> See, Virgil, there are better ways to go about this. They're not even worth a lot of XP anymore. Despite being pretty high level. Almost there. Come on. There we go. Now. There we go. She's here. Ahem. <laughs> So, we have had Azram Star for quite some time. We got it several streams ago. Uh, we just could not become a master of throwing yet, because, of course, we needed enough ranks to do so. So now, we can get rid of Azram Star. Ahem. I am in possession of Azram Star. Oh, I thought you'd never return with it. Quick, let me see it. Oh, I see, actually, I only came back to kill you with it. Here you are. Will you please train me as you promised? What an amazing work of art. I'll be ten times the warrior I was prior to receiving this. Yes, yes, your training has very much been earned. Thank you. Thank you. May the star be all you hope it to be. And we don't have to kill her to get the star back. It does not matter. There we go. Because... Since we are technologically oriented, and it is the best magical throwing weapon, we have no need for it. But now, we are a master of the throwing skill. So that means, uh, see, Apprentice increases the speed of your throwing weapons by like 5 or 6 points, I think. Expert increases your throwing range by 50%, and what Master does is um, your chance of success to hit is unaffected by range penalties. So... Let's go over here. Let's actually grab some shut eye. Okay. Sleep until healed. There we go. Now, can we sell some of this junk, perhaps? Purchasing arrows, right. Okay, so this is... Nothing. What is it that you want of me? Others... He went through a lot of potions in that dungeon. Fair's fair. Don't need those. I'm not sure where you pick those up at, actually. You can sell that axe. His old axe. Don't need that. Okay, the only other thing I think is the hammer. That he's carrying, at least. Okay, 106 coins, there we go. And yes, good, he will buy these. Is that it? I don't see any more kite swords. Okay, I think we are good. Good. Let's see, the dancing needle. Hey. Where's the Isle of Despair? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, do you have a dress I could wear? No, okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ironically, for some reason, like, we're still wearing our dress even though it's broken. And you've seen in the past, usually that's not what happens. She should be running around in her underwear, but it's probably fine that she's not. Okay, 
Let's get over here to Shrouded Hills as well. Because then we can get rid of some of these random magic items like these robes that we don't need. That'll free up some inventory space as well as putting a little bit of cash in our pockets. Such a good thing there's no time limit on this game. It's literally been a year and a half. Okay, can you identify something for me? Would you please identify this and that? And... How can I help you? This. I think that that's it. Yes, okay. Now, all of these... Let's sell those too. Hammer. Let us trade, dear lady. Reaper's Axe. It looks so cool and it's actually not that great of a weapon. Sadly. Okay. Buy this? No. Okay, that's alright. We know who will. How can I help you? Let me give you the rest of these gemstones that I am carrying. I'll trade you for the scrolls. You don't need that. Not really. I think that that's it. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Mm, if she won't buy those, I know who will, as I said. So let's head on to Tarant. And there we will wrap it up. The water's a static texture, but I love when you go across the bridge, you can hear, like, the rushing water underneath it. I love this map, the way that it looks like it's done on canvas, cloth or something. The lettering and all of that and the way you travel across it with the little red cross on the dotted line. It's a very simple thing, but it's, I just love the presentation. I've always loved that. Okay, let's see here. Can we get to the docks, please? Talk to this guy. Yes, can you fix something for me, please? I cannot repair items that are broken. You can't. Are you sure? I thought that you could. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, well then, let's see, that's the general store. This is the apparel store. We're just going to have to wait until morning. Uh, oh, there he is. Coming from home to work. Let's see. Let us trade. I will not buy that. No, you wouldn't, would you? Oh, we're gonna have to rob somebody for another dress. Ah, oh, I was too careless. Drat. Hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Well... Okay, well, we have to get our dress fixed. 
Um, but first... Special edition. What's the headline of today's paper? Spe special edition. Let's see if this is the one that I think it is. No. Okay, it's one we've already seen. Well then. As is tradition. Okay. Magic store is up here. We'll go sell all these scrolls. And then we'll go see all Gil Bates. Hello. We're starting to carry some good stuff now. Look at this. Small red barbarian clothes. <laughs> okay, will you purchase this, please? Yes. Okay, good. He will purchase it for a lot. You can tell that he's a wealthy merchant because he had plenty of money to buy all those things. But look at that. Now we have recovered our funds. Excellent. Okay, we still need to repair their armor and weapons. We'll go back to the uh, the Junker guy to do that, but I will worry about that later. Right now, what I'm worried about is we're going to go up here and talk to Gil Bates before we wrap it. Okay, everybody in here? You have returned. Tell me what news. Um, the dwarves were banished to the Isle of Despair because, um... Uh, For the sake of the gods, out with it, woman! Well, they irresponsibly allowed their technology to spread to humans. Yeah, you're not gonna read? Okay. He seems taken aback a moment as he considers what you've told him. By the gods, it is as I always feared. I doomed them all. What have I done, my youthful impertinence? I... Here's some gold for your trouble. Could you do something further for me? You would like me to go to the Isle of Despair? If you would. I know I've already asked much of you, but an old man needs to put his mind at ease. What? is the Isle of Despair. I love I'm sorry, I will not be going to any Isle of Despair. The Isle of Despair <laughs> is a penal colony. Extremely dangerous. The criminals are unceremoniously left on her shores to fend for themselves against the elements and the other inmates. I would be indebted to you, of course. <laughs> will your indebtedness run to more than 300 gold this time? <laughs> that is a paltry sum for the quest that we just went on. I'll do it, but how do I get there? Go to the docks at Ashbury. You can find it on your map. Ask around for Edward Teach, a crusty old salt. He is in command of one of the boats that I use for special jobs. And he will take me. Can this man be trusted? I trust him implicitly. There are rumors of a somewhat less than virtuous career on the high seas... He's a good man, should a difficult situation arise. That is reassuring. I'll wire ahead to tell Teach to expect you. Chucka here is quite beneficial to have around for protection. If you're interested, you might be able to persuade him to accompany you on your journey. I'm good, thanks. Okay, yeah, Edward Teach, you recognize the name. <laughs> there are rumors of a less than virtuous career on the high seas. So there we go. We've got to go find the Black Mountain Clan on the Isle of Despair. That is our next plot point. So uh, that is where we're going to head next time. It's going to be uh, a little bit of a circuitous route. We're not going to go straight there exactly. We have a couple of steps to make uh, or to take along the way. And this is going to loop back to uh, some stuff that I mentioned way back at the beginning when we were doing some... Uh, some random junk and I said oh you know this is this won't be important for right now but we'll need this later so well this is later so we will begin that in our next stream 
I will be back with more Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. Don't forget to join me on Monday for more Wasteland 2. Thursday, we will be doing more Pokemon Crystal. And the following Monday, the 18th, Specific Pixel will be back for another episode of Baroque. Uh, heads up as well that unfortunately... Um, there's not going to be an episode of Pokemon, um, on the 21st. There will not be a stream on the 21st, uh, but then we'll be back to our regular schedule immediately. And, uh, don't forget to mark your calendars for our upcoming special on April the 1st. Thank you so much. I am grateful for the privilege of your time. And, uh... I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, leave a comment, and all that stuff. Thank you so much again for the gift subs, the resubs, for all of you who have been here the whole time or just got here. Thank you for the well wishes for the, the five-year celebration. Uh, it has been great, and I'm definitely looking forward to spending even more time with you. So if I'm lucky, I will see you in the next video. Until then, as always, thanks for playing.